Hello and welcome to this reading lesson. Got an article here called Stealing from a Cashierless Store Without You or the Cameras Knowing It. It's about a self-serve type of supermarket uh, that is in San Francisco. We're going to stop along the way and talk about the individual vocabulary when necessary. A startup uses visual tracking and behavioral data to operate a new San Francisco market, which lets shoppers walk out unimpeded. Unimpeded, not obstructed or hindered. It means people could walk in, walk out without being stopped. There's nothing or no one in their way. And sometimes mischarged by Nellie Bowles, September 13, 2018. San Francisco. One recent afternoon, the city's newest grocery market was trying to figure out whether I would buy, steal, or leave behind a bag of white cheddar popcorn. And so was I. On its side, 27 cameras along the ceiling and a wealth of behavioral data. On my side, crippling indecision. Last week, San Francisco got its first completely automated cashierless store, Standard Market. Shoppers who have downloaded the store's app can go into the 1,900 square foot space, grab items, and simply leave. There's no check-in gate, and there's no check-out swipe. Ceiling cameras identify the shopper and the items, and determine when said items leave with said shopper. Or, at least, that's the idea. Before continuing, I want to mention and I want to point out that uh, the writer, Nellie Bowles, well, she's approaching this article in a kind of funny way. She's being a little humorous. I enjoy this style of uh, journalism. Let's continue. The startup behind this operation is Standard Cognition. That's the name of the company which has raised $11.2 million in venture capital and formed partnerships with four retail chains around the world. This first market is a prototype to showcase the technology and work on the bugs. The ambitious goal is to add the tech in 100 stores a day, each day by 2020. Let's continue. My cat is here. You'll probably see my cat in the camera. But let's go on anyway. Standard Cognition's approach is different. It relies exclusively on ceiling cameras and artificial intelligence software to figure out what you're buying. The cameras document shoppers' movements, speed, stride length, and gaze. The store knows when I glance at a poster and for how long. It knows if I slowed it down, grabbed a chocolate bar, and put it back. It knows if my body is facing the dried mangoes, but my face is set on the popcorn. What is stride length? What does that mean? Well, to stride means to walk with long, decisive steps in a specific direction. And it knows, or is trying to know, when I'm planning to steal. The goal is to predict and prevent shoplifting. Because unlike Amazon's ghost stores, which have a subway turnstile-like gate for entry and exit, Standard Market has an open door, and the path is clear. We learn behaviors of what it looks like to leave, said Michael Suswal. Standard Cognition's co-founder and chief operating officer. Trajectory, gaze, and speed are especially useful for detecting theft, he said, adding, if they're going to steal, their gate is larger and they're looking at the door. Gate, a person's manner of walking. And as you can see at the bottom, the word gate is sometimes confused with gate, like a door. Not the same thing. Same pronunciation, not the same word. Once the system decides it has detected potential theft behavior, a store attendant will get a text and walk over for a polite conversation, Mr. Suswal said. Predicting theft requires a lot of data about shoppers, much of which does not exist yet. 
or at least no one is willing to give it to us, he said. The growth of cashierless technology could hurt the American labor force. There are nearly five million retail sales workers in America, but as Mr. Suswall has pitched Standard Cognition's technology, he said, he has found that most shop owners are not looking to replace workers. Instead, they want their workers wandering the stores more in hopes of luring shoppers back into brick-and-mortar retail. I'm not sure I believe that. Let's talk about the vocabulary. To pitch something. The word pitch has many different meanings. In this context, a pitch is a presentation of a business idea to potential investors. What is meant by brick and mortar retail? Brick and mortar. If you actually go into a store and buy a product from a human being, like they did back before the internet was invented, well, you're buying from a brick and mortar business. Brick and mortar refers to a physical presence of an organization or business in a building. They all talk about new services, making shopping more fun, making it worthwhile to shop offline, Mr. Suswall said. And they talk about data. While a store owner can look at receipts to see who bought a generic ketchup, cashierless technology can help tell if the shopper first picked up a Heinz bottle and how long he or she looked at it. Basically, now an owner can see what a customer did not buy. On a recent Friday, a line stretched down the street from Standard Market as a bouncer at the door took in one shopper at a time for the automated experience. The store is in San Francisco's gentrifying mid-market neighborhood between Shanvi Eatery, a Pakistani restaurant, and Huckleberry Bicycles, a high-end bike shop. People outside were downloading the app and typing in their credit card numbers. The writer's very good, the way she paints a picture. What's a bouncer? A bouncer is a person employed by a nightclub or similar establishment to prevent troublemakers from entering or to eject them from the premises if they do indeed cause problems. And if you want to have this job as a bouncer, well, you would have to be very big and very strong. I might mispronounce the following. <laughs> Japanese name, but please forgive me. Walking out was Yashimasa Takahashi, age 32, who works nearby in finance. A receipt popped up on his phone. It said he had bought noodles and Kraft macaroni and cheese, except he had not bought the Kraft macaroni and cheese. I was playing with it, but I didn't take it out, Mr. Takahashi said, smiling at his win over the tech. The bouncer gave him a refund. Inside, Rebecca Schiffman, age 28, was working the floor. She had been an employee at Whole Foods when the Standard Cognition team recruited her. She liked the idea of getting out from behind a cash register and said she was unfazed about having to intervene with potential shoplifters. What does it mean, unfazed? not disconcerted or perturbed. And it's a little bit close to being too relaxed, being very laid back. We thought the news would upset him, but he seemed unfazed. I used to do that all the time anyway, she said. Now the writer is going to tell us about her own shopping experience. To shop, I opened my phone, which flashed blue, letting the store know I had entered. I wandered, throwing items into my tote. Then I left. Outside I found Mr. Suswall. A minute went by, and a notification popped up on my phone with my receipt, one white cheddar popcorn and one roll of toilet paper for a total of a buck nineteen. One dollar nineteen cents. In fact, I had left with two bags of popcorn. I had toyed with the second bag, debated buying it, considered my dinner plans, put it back, and finally took it with a quick, impulsive grab, 
The system missed it. She's making the the article personal to her. Very good writing technique. Toyed with. What does toyed with mean? Toy with is a phrasal verb. It's when you get an idea, think about doing it, but you actually don't do the idea. You're just thinking about it. Next paragraph. That shouldn't happen, Mr. Suswall said, and yet it did. He shrugged and said I had won it. To shrug means to take your shoulders and go. He shrugged and said I had won it. So I left with the extra 99-cent bag of popcorn, and I did not feel bad, really. Soon, standard cognition and others will probably get better, will perfectly detect where that snack went, and my movement will be subsumed and predicted by artificial intelligence's endless data mall. Here comes the ending of the article, and I like the way she kind of buttons it up at the end for one final little laugh. But for now, it's not quite good enough, <laughs> and I'm covered in crumbs. Meaning she, she ate the popcorn. I hoped you liked reading this article with me. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think, what kind of articles you would like to have me read in the future. And check out my other videos here on YouTube. Here's my email address. Please contact me if you're looking for a private online English teacher. We can use Skype and we can meet privately online. I teach all levels. Goodbye from the USA and see you next time.